Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to go over the last part of my Halloween bundle. It is based on my masks. These are in fact uh, the cheapest masks that I have. They are from uh, Party City as well as some uh, dollar store type masks that I picked up simply because they had a nice Halloween effect to them. And some of them are Day of the Dead so you will do see those too. I find the Day of the Dead quite fascinating in itself. Uh, but I'm going to go over some of them and then I'm going to show you my very last one which is a demon mask. Now I honestly don't know where I got that from but I can't remember. But anyway I got it years ago, almost 10 years ago. But anyway I'll show you that one last. So in the meantime let's get into the Day of the Dead type masks. I got this from Party City for like I think 5 bucks or something like that. Yeah. I'm not sure but anyway that's what that looks like. Let me pull that back. Alright. It's a simple mask, okay? And in the back here. Alright. Alright. So that's the Day of the Dead, okay? I have another one that's just like that too. And I got two, two plastic ones from one of the dollar stores that are similar, but they glow in the dark, you know? Okay, anyway. Let's move on to the next one here. This one here is the other Day of the Dead mask, okay? It's got some cool designs to it. Again, I got these at Party City for like 10 bucks. Maybe less, I'm not sure. Alright. It's just a simple mask with a string on it, okay? And I just hang them up on the side of the shelf. That's all they pretty much do. Alright, moving on to the next one here. Dollar Store type. As you can see, this one here is very pumpkin-y, okay? Pumpkin horror, baby. <laughs> but anyway, I got this one for like a dollar, okay? You can't go wrong with the price, guys. As you can see, I got it all tied up. Uh, I nail, uh, thumbtack it to the side of the um, shelf, simply because it's made of a hard wood. But anyway, that's what it looks like inside, all right? Simple mask, can't go wrong with it, okay? All right, it's got a very Halloween feel to it. Alright, now this one here, because it's traditional to Halloween, is a skull, okay? Let me pull that back so you can see it. It's got a black and green scheme to it, lime green. Alright. The skull's got some cracks in it. It's a cracked skull. And again, as you can see, i still got the thumbtack in it. I'm just going to hang it back up when the time comes, okay? But that's that one there. Now I'm going to show you this other one here. This one cost me $200. And you're going to probably say, why in the hell would you pay $200 for this mask? Here it is, guys. That's a joke. I don't pay $200 for something like this. This one is, again, another dollar store one. I got it for like a dollar, okay? But it's kind of like, it's got like a scream-esque uh, feel to it. Because of the uh, the hood and everything to it, but even though it's a skull type situation, I liked it because it really stood out because of the shine to it. It's cheap, but you know, and it's got a little mesh in the eyes, soft mesh. Okay, right. and if you get into the back of this, I can get into it. Hang on here, guys. All right, there we go. As you can see, the inside of it. All right. That is my dollar store masks, along with the Day of the Dead, okay? Now I'm going to show you this last one here, and I'm going to put it on the stand because it is a big one, okay? Let me get these out of the way here, and then we'll get into that one, okay? I have to stand up for this one here. This one here has got a very Iron Maiden Eddie look about him. He is a demon mask. Let me shake him up a little bit here. All right. This one's very cool. I gotta pull back because of the size of him. Okay. And let me push him down a little bit here. Hang on, hang on for a second here, guys. I gotta lower the stand here so you can see it better. Alright, now we are back. There we go, guys. Okay. That's more like it. Now, as you can see, it is a demon mask. I got it about 10 years ago, and I honestly don't know where I got it from. 
I still to this day cannot remember it. I'm not sure if it was Party City, but um, or it wasn't online. I know I didn't buy it online. So it had to be in a store, maybe Halloween City. I'm not sure. But anyway, I got it a long time ago, and I got it for like I think 40 bucks. Usually they run around as high as 80 to 100 dollars for a mask this size. But anyway, let me go ahead and take it off of the thing so you can actually see what it looks like. I got it in a coffee container because the masks that I have, styrofoam heads, are not big enough for this mask. I gotta get a special stand for it. Right. And I'll show you the inside of this mask too. So, Alright, let's get back into this here and I'll show you what it looks like up close here. This thing's huge, okay? Alright, it's kind of hard to hold it. Alright, the eyes is a soft mat. Oh, look at that. Just punched a hole right through it. Okay, but well anyway, I'm gonna have to fix that. The nose, okay, as you can see the texture of it and the mouth, okay. It is a big mask, as you can see, it's gigantic. It can't even fit in the camera. Alright. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Kind of manhandling this thing a little too hard. So I'm gonna stand up on this one here. Alright. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the inside of this mask so you can get to see it. It does have a lot of foam up inside. All right. I don't know if you can see it from here, but All right. it's kind of hard to maneuver because it is a soft mask. It's latex. And for 10 years old, it's still, because I keep it in proper temperature, it's still holding its uh, texture. It's not rotting away or anything like that. All right. But that's my demon mask. Okay. Put that back on the thing here. <laughs> Got to struggle with this thing. There we go. All right now. Okay. Yeah. He's got a lot of hair to him, as you can see. It's kind of rock and roll it tight. There we go. All right. There it is, guys. Sorry about the way I handled that because that mask is absolutely huge. Okay, I will tell you that. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. All right, but anyway, that's it on the masks. Okay, uh, I've gone through the entire collection of masks that I have so far. There's probably like eight videos based on my mask, maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to move on to the next one, which what I normally do is go into the shelves. And grab certain things and I'll do se uh, separate videos on those uh, so we're definitely going to concentrate on the Halloween decor of what I collected in the last couple of years uh, keep in mind when it comes to masks I'm not done with it I have another one coming in on July 2nd it is a scarecrow mask once that comes in I'll do a separate video on that but I'm not going to stop collecting masks because I am going to do it a little bit different this year instead of normally going through the stores and looking for Halloween trinkets and decor and stuff like that I'm gonna concentrate on the masks I'm gonna be building that up because I gotta build a shelf for it I said this in my last couple of videos I starting to build up a, a huge collection of masks and I want a shelf to accommodate all the masks so I will have to build a shelf for that but in the meantime for this year I will definitely be looking at masks at Walmart, Target, um, Trick or Treat Studios uh, as well as uh, Spirit Halloween, whatever mask they have, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon when it comes to masks, okay? And also going to be checking occasionally online for different type of masks. So keep that in mind, so I'm not done collecting masks. So, But anyway, we're going to concentrate on the Halloween decor and some of the horror figures that are on them shelves. We'll go through them in separate videos. But in the meantime, this is in fact a brand new channel. It is Pumpkin Horror. If you would... You know, be so kind as to let everyone know and uh, tell everybody about this channel because it is strictly Halloween and uh, horror related. It will definitely be nothing but that. And I know most of the people out there who love Halloween and horror are going to appreciate a channel like this because it is nothing but, okay? But I'm going to need your help to get the recognition out there, get people to know that the, um, the channel exists, okay, because I just opened it up not even about a week and a half ago, so it is brand spanking new, literally, okay. So with your help, hopefully I can get it off the ground. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe on, you know, for this channel, 
and hit that notification bell because I'm definitely going to be pushing out a shitload of uh, videos, so keep that in mind. Sorry about the way I handled the actual video and the way I handled the mask because it is absolutely huge. I will have to fix the eye because I did poke a hole through it. Like I said, it is getting older, so I'm going to have to re-glue that part. Not a major deal, okay? Uh, but anyway, this is probably the oldest mask that I do have, okay? And i got to take care of it because it is getting older. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day. And thank you for watching this video. How's it? All right. Good night.